Good morning, guys. It is Monday, March 30th. I'm having trouble with my um, screen sharing. So basically, I have the choice to either show you my screen or show you my face. And I don't have anything to show you on my screen right now. So I'm just going to do a video like this. Um, but unfortunately, I can't kind of show you on Blackboard the things I'm going to be telling you. But um, there are a few things you need to know that are really important going into this week. Uh, the first thing, and I made this an announcement on the class page, but the first thing is that I'm switching how we're doing class a little bit. Um, this past week was kind of our first week really getting into a routine. And what I noticed is that it was very confusing both for you guys and for me to figure out what day um, to assign you things, what day they're due based on the classes that are dropping out. So I've just decided to kind of scratch the idea of keeping your class schedule um, where you're dropping two classes each day. Um, and instead, I'm just going to kind of embrace this whole um, Monday through Thursday kind of system. So I'm still only going to give you four days worth of you know, class and assignments, just like you would during the school year. Um, so I'm not going to do Monday through Friday, but I will do Monday through Thursday. Okay, so that's important um, to recognize that, you know, today is Monday, my videos are going to start having the day of the week and not just day one, day two, day three. So now everyone will have class Monday, everyone will have class Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, no class on Friday. But that being said, when I do give an assignment, like when I give an assignment on Thursday, it's still going to be due um, the next day at four. So on Friday at four, Thursday's assignment will be due. Okay, so the same rule applies, but now you'll have things due on Friday, um, but you'll not have a new lesson, a new video to watch on Fridays. Okay, so new class structure, Monday through Thursday, forget the whole thing where we drop classes and all of that, because that was pretty confusing, I realized. All right, so that's the first thing. And there, there's an announcement on Blackboard to remind you of that. The second thing has to do with um, the last assignment you turned in for me. So last week, I think it was Tuesday, I asked you to turn in a character sketch where you would choose five characters from Man for All Seasons, and then all you had to do was choose one of the adjectives from the box that you think describes them well and find a quotation from the book that supports the adjective you chose. So there's a couple issues with that. Um, the first issue, which was not a really big, really big deal, was that people are attaching pictures of their work rather than using the text box on the assignment. Um, the reason I prefer the text box is because it's really difficult to see what you're writing on those pieces of paper. Having to zoom in and decipher your handwriting is even harder over a picture than it is in person. So please use the text box when you're um, typing in your answers. Okay, that's one thing. I still give you full credit regardless of how you attach your answers, but next time please use the text box. The second issue um, was that a couple of you guys are just copying from one another, which after grading 110 or whatever, 100 something of these, it's very obvious who's just copying and pasting answers from their friends. Um, so for now, um, this is the one time I'm going to have mercy on you guys for doing that. That is cheating. I want to remind you that, you know, when you decide to come to St. Michael, you sign the handbook that says that you pledge Veritas for, you know, all of your assessments, all of your homework. Um, and that means that the work is supposed to be yours. I know it's an, a homework assignment, but that doesn't take down the level of severity with which you should be um, regarding your work, right? You should be taking it as seriously as you can. And I'm not going to give anyone credit for work that is clearly um, taken from somebody else. I want you to use your own words and do your own work if you expect to receive any credit. This time, you guys received half credit, and I told you that you could resubmit if you want to raise your grade, but um, that's not going to happen again. Okay, so please remember the promises that you've made, which is that all of your assignments, homework, and assessments are your own work. All right, and that's the last time I'm going to be um, flexible on that at all. All right, so keep that in mind. And those of you who need to resubmit, you have until today at four. OK, um, the next thing is that um, I want to warn you that today, um, today, Monday, you have a, a quiz for a man for all seasons. It's going to go through page 113. The quiz will go live, will be up and posted at noon today. All right. So a couple, in a couple hours, you'll be able to check back and find the quiz posted. I'll warn you, the quiz is going to be timed. 
And I'm not going to give you a ton of time because I want you to use your brain and not have time to refer back to materials and reread pages of the book to find the answers. You need to know the material from already having read it. So um, come noon, make sure you've read pages, uh, you know, the beginning of Act 1 all the way through 113 and that you're ready to answer questions about the characters and the plot, what happens, okay? If there are things you don't know, Use this time to uh, you know talk to other people, get a recap from someone, or even look it up if you're still kind of fuzzy about what's going on. Um, after this quiz, we're going to start talking about everything kind of together. I'll make, you know, in my videos, I'll talk about what's going on. But for now, I need to make sure that you're reading. So that quiz is going to go up at noon. It will be due tomorrow at 4. Tuesday at 4, it will be due. It will be timed, and you'll only have one kind of chance to get it done. You can't resubmit different answers. All right, so be prepared for that. That's kind of your assignment for today is that little assessment. It will say Monday, March 30th assessment. You'll click it once you start. You can't stop, okay? Once you start, the timer is going. All right, so be prepared for that. Please keep adding prayer intentions to our discussion board. Um, and if there's any other questions you have about what we're doing in class or the class structure, shoot me a message on Blackbot. I've been trying to respond to those quickly. Um, your vocab log should go in today and tomorrow. I've been grading, and so um, that's the last thing I have to put in. But make sure you're keeping up with your current vocab log for Act 2 as well. That'll be due in about a week's time, maybe a little longer than that. Um, but you should be keeping up with that just like you kept up with Act 1. And again, if you've got questions, ask me. Um, get ready for your quiz. That'll be posted at noon. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a wonderful day.